Want to learn how to create these trendy subtitles for your TikToks and Reels? Trust me, it's not that hard. Let me show you how. For today's project, we are going to use Canva and we're going to use it for free. So if you have a Canva free account or a Canva Pro account, you can follow this tutorial. If you don't have a Canva account yet, I left a link in the description so you can create your Canva account. Here I am in the Canva homepage and what we are going to do first is to create a video document. This step is very important because with this document, we'll have access to the video editing tools and this is very important for this tutorial. So let's go to videos and then from here you're going to select the format that you need for your video. So you have a horizontal video 1920 by 1080, you have a square format 1080 by 1080 and also you have the mobile video which is a vertical mode. This is the one that I'm going to use today so let's create a blank document. Here I am in the Canva editor and we're going to upload the video that we're going to edit. So let's go to uploads and from here select upload files. My video is loading so we see the loading bar here below the image and we also see the uploading icon filling. So we're gonna wait until this is complete and then we can start editing the video. We're gonna bring the video to the back of the design so right click and then set video as background. Now let's add text to our video. Let's go to the text section and from here we can either add a text box or add a heading. This time let's go for add a text box. Having your text box selected, we can change the font, we can adjust everything about the text box. So let's first change the font. I'm gonna select Anton. This one is a free font, but if you have a Canva Pro account, you can select any of the fonts even if they have a crown. If you are using a Canva free account, go for a font without a crown. So Anton, I'm gonna select this one and then I'm gonna add some effects. Let's go to effects and from here I'm gonna select splice. I'm gonna move the offset to zero and this gray color I'm gonna change it for white. Okay, there you go. Now I'm gonna select the three dots and I'm gonna select this option that says uppercase. Now my text is starting to look like the trendy text effect that we see on TikTok or Instagram. We can adjust our text box so we can increase the size if we want and we can change the location or the position of our text box. Now that we have our text ready, I would like to start editing our captions or subtitles. To do this, I really like to go closer into this thumbnail view. So I'm gonna select zoom page and then click one time. When you see that in this icon, the three boxes are selected or are in black, we can increase this slider so we have a closer view to this thumbnail. Now let's start listening very carefully to our video because we're gonna start sectioning our video into little sections. What we want to do is to split the video every time that we want to add a new subtitle. So let me hear my video. Want to learn how to... Okay, so I want to split it after I say want to learn. Want to learn. Okay, somewhere here. Once your guide is located in the place where you want to split your video, you see this black line, we're gonna right click and then split page. If you want to double check that you did the cut in the right position, you can listen to what you say on the next section after the cut. So if you don't have a little section of the word that you want to keep in the first section, you are fine. So let's play how to create. This is great because I heard how to create. So the learn is in this section. Okay, now I want to split this section again into two because I want to cut the one, two, and then learn. Want to le okay, this one is really fast, so I need to be very, very careful 
on the placement where I'm going to cut. So let me hear this again. One third. Okay, somewhere here. Let's split and let's hear this second page. Okay, I think this is good. Now I'm gonna start adjusting the subtitles. So in this first section, I say one, two, and then here, learn. So in here, let's add one, two. And in here, I'm gonna adjust the letter spacing because I think the letters can go closer. So something like this. And then I'm going to Ctrl C and paste it in here. So on the second page, I don't need this text box anymore and paste. Now I'm going to duplicate this text box and add learn. I want this text box to have a different color so I go to effects and from here I'm gonna change this color to yellow. There you go. Now what I have created in here is that when you hear one two you see the one two on the screen and then when I say learn, the word appears. So let me check. Want to learn? Perfect, this one is looking great. Let me add a couple of text boxes more and I will show you something cool. How to create. Okay, I'm gonna split the page in here. And in this section, I say how to create. So I think I can split it into two sections as well. How to and then create. So let me try to find the place where I want to split this little section. How to cre create. Okay, I think this is great. I'm gonna delete these text boxes right here and then I'm going to page number two and control C, paste it on page number four, control V, and then this one I can paste it on page number three. So if you see what I'm doing is to save a lot of time because instead of creating new text boxes and adjust the font and the effect and everything on these text boxes, I'm just Ctrl C, Ctrl V and I have everything that I want to keep all the text boxes consistent. So I just need to change the text in here. So what do I say in here? How to create. Yes, so how to and then here how to create this time. I think I'm gonna rotate this word a little bit just to make the subtitles more interesting. And then I'm also going to change the color. So let's go to effects again, go to color. And then for this one, let's add a green color. I'm also going to add a different touch to this section. I'm gonna add some sparkles. So let's go to elements. And from here you can search for spark or sparkle. And here we have these little stars that are free to use. So I'm gonna position them somewhere here and then I'm going to duplicate this one and position it somewhere here. Bring it to back and there you go. So we have this want to learn how to create and then we have the little sparkles. I'm gonna keep editing this video pretty quick and I'm gonna stop to show you how to add animations to your subtitles. Okay, now I want to show you how to add an animation to one of our subtitles or text boxes. So I want to add something interesting to subtitles because this is a very important keyword in my video. So I'm gonna select the text box and then go to animate. From here you can see all the different animations and you can select the one that looks better on your video. I think I'm gonna go for this one that says typewriter. So I'm gonna click one time and then where it says animate, select on enter. Now we're gonna double check to see how this is looking. So let me go to the play button. Friendly subtitles. Okay, this is looking great. Now let's keep adding some more subtitles. Let me see, where can I cut in here? Or your... Okay, yes, I think I can cut. I can split the page in here. And then I say for 
your. Sometimes I like to break my subtitles into two lines because this makes it easier to read and sometimes it looks better. So in this case, I'm gonna break this line into two. Just going to delete this space for and then hit enter. Now, because I have a huge space in between these two lines, I'm going to spacing and then move the line spacing to the left to reduce the space between the two lines. I think this is looking good. And now let's continue editing this video. Let me see, what do I say for your TikTok and Instagram, I guess? TikTok and Reels? Yeah, I think this is perfect. TikTok and Reels. So I have TikTok and Reels. I'm gonna split this section into two. So in one section, I'm gonna add the TikTok image or logo. And then when I mention Reels, I'm gonna add the Instagram icon. So, let me split after I say TikToks. TikToks A. Perfect. Somewhere here. TikToks A. Okay. So instead of having this text box, I'm going to add a TikTok icon. So let's go here. Let's search for a TikTok icon or logo. So I think this one is looking great. Let's position it somewhere here and then I'm gonna select this icon, Ctrl C and then go to the next page and Ctrl V. I'm gonna use this text box and type and so TikTok and elements go to Instagram logo. Let's add an Instagram logo in here and let's rotate it as well. So position it somewhere here and my text box let's position it forward and forward again okay now let me double check how this is looking and if you pay attention every time that i do some changes to my video every time i add images or text i like to double check before i continue editing the next section so let me play tiktoks and reels I think this is looking great and now I'm gonna continue editing the rest of the subtitles. Here I want to show you something cool. We're gonna add a line that is going to cross the heart as I mentioned it. So let's go to elements and in here we're going to type line. Let's go to graphics and then select this one. I'm gonna change the color to a red color and then let's position this line in here. I'm gonna bring the line to forward and now I'm gonna add an animation so we can see the line moving from the left to the right. Let's go to animate and from here we're going to select wipe and remember to select animate on enter. Now let's see how this is looking. Not that hard. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna add a couple of subtitles more to finish this video. I have finished adding my last subtitles. If you want, you can double check your subtitles. You can play your video from here or you can preview your video in here. Once your video is ready to be downloaded, we're gonna go to share, download. You're gonna leave it as MP4 video, leave all the pages and then download. Remember to stay until the end, but remember that if you want to see the final result of this tutorial, you can go back to the beginning of this tutorial. I know that this process can be a little bit tedious and it can take some time at the beginning but trust me because the more you do it the faster you'll become and also if you use the keyboard shortcuts like ctrl c ctrl v you will go even faster. Also remember that this platform is completely free to use and you will end up with a very trendy looking video for your tiktok or reels. If you enjoyed this tutorial please let me know in the comments by leaving this emoji and also leaving us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also if you want to learn more about our free trials, our courses, our templates, you can click in here or if you want to learn how to duplicate yourself in a video, I'm gonna leave you that tutorial in here. I think this is it for today, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next one. Bye!